Hey everyone, welcome to the Microsoft 365 Copilot Connection. My name is Nick Harris and I'm a senior Copilot Cloud Solution Architect with Microsoft. Today I'm excited to show you the amazing new capabilities that we are releasing with Copilot Notebooks. Copilot Notebooks are going to be brand new to your Microsoft 365 Copilot experience. And general note, they do require the $30 Microsoft 365 Copilot license available to our enterprise customers. I've been really thinking long and hard around how to fit Copilot Notebooks into my overall workflow. And as I see, we currently have functionalities that are very similar to the way that Copilot Notebooks work and function. However, I feel that Copilot Notebooks are simpler in nature and more easier to understand for those business end users that may be around us, or you yourselves if you're a business end user in marketing or finance or HR or even executives. Specifically, we currently have Microsoft 365 Copilot Agents. And agents, we have the ability to provide a particular personality, give it a set of instructions to follow, have it format particular data in the way that we require. We can also focus agents on particular sets of data around us, and we can ask questions of those agents to get information back based on that particular content. But agents, of course, can do a lot more than that as well. And so when I look at Copilot Notebooks, Copilot Notebooks can perform all of that same functionality. We can give it a set of instructions, we can focus it on particular sets of knowledge, and we can tailor the way that it responds to us. And so today I want to navigate you through some initial materials for Copilot Notebooks and then do a live demonstration. So let's look at how Copilot Notebooks can help different people in their day-to-day -day work. It's not just for one kind of job. Almost anyone can use it to be more productive. For example, a marketing manager could leverage Copilot Notebooks to assist with launching a new product. The Copilot Notebook could contain content that includes product specifications, market research, customer feedback, all together in one single location. The marketing manager can then ask a Copilot as a part of that notebook for particular pieces of information, or to generate new ideas, or drill down into particular market research questions and answers. A sales representative could leverage Copilot Notebooks preparing for a big client meeting. Their particular notebook may contain information such as clients' past orders, various email-based conversations that are important, slides from a presentation for products that have been pitched, so on and so forth. And finally, project managers could leverage Copilot Notebooks to assist with leading a project. Content could contain project plans, status updates, risk log analysis information, engagement strategies. As you can see, Copilot Notebooks adapt to many scenarios, from marketing campaigns to sales meetings to project management, by making information easier to manage and use. It's all about working smarter, keeping everything you need at your fingertips, and having an AI assistant that will assist you in a meaningful way. So let's go ahead and demonstrate Copilot Notebooks Live. As you see on the screen share, on the left side navigation, I have a new item titled Notebooks. I've clicked into this particular item, and now I have all the available Copilot Notebooks that surround me. This could be relating to clients that I work with, this could be relating to uh, products that I'm actively working through or marketing within my organization, and that's particularly the use case example that we will go through today for a marketing manager that is leveraging a Copilot notebook for a new product launch. So in order to get started, we can click on New Notebook at the top of our notebook list, or we can click on New Notebook in the top right-hand corner. When I click on New Notebook, I initially receive a very simple to configure screen where I title the new notebook and search for content that I have access to around me that I want to include inside of that notebook. So as you see here, I've searched for Smart Therm, and I have a few documents that have pulled up. This could be Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, co-pilot pages that I've created for research and material information in the past, so on and so forth. If for whatever reason your documents do not show up in the screen, you can also select the OneDrive icon or the cloud icon on the right hand side of the search box to go through the file explorer experience within Microsoft 365 and find the files that you need. So let's click on create. And now we see the notebook is being built live. We should see the references start to populate here in just a moment. And here are references. 
We can directly filter down on those references based on however many we have in this particular listing. We can also get to any chat-based experience that we have against this content inside of this notebook as well via the chat history. Now, of course, I just created this notebook. I don't have a chat history. So let's go ahead and chat with the notebook for just a bit. So the first question I'll ask of Copilot in this notebook, what are the top three features of SmartTherm that we should highlight to customers? General note as well, if I wanted to pull in or reference any other content around me to also include in this conversation, I can. We can directly leverage the initial inherent knowledge we're referencing in the notebook always, but we could include additional data by clicking on the plus icon and navigating into the add content menu, allowing us to reference or ground within the content around us. Now you would approach this like any other normal co-pilot conversation. You ask your questions or provide your instructions and co-pilot in the notebook will respond to you. But again, Copilot in the notebook is filtered down to the particular reference data that I've either included in my prompt or that I've referenced as a part of my notebook configuration. So I can see here, the top three features of Smart Therm are directly pulling from the particular content that is referenced inside of my notebook. We have our feedback notes, our product launch planning meeting notes, and our product brief. I can review through all of that information. I could add it to a co-pilot page. I could have it read aloud. I could provide feedback. I could ask additional questions, so on and so forth. Also, some new updates we're adding when you hover over the reference files. In case you want to know a little bit more about those reference files, you can directly hover and choose particular prompts we make available, such as, hmm, maybe I do want to understand a little bit more about this customer feedback notes based on the initial beta tests. I can list key points, give me a bulleted list of key points from that particular document, and have Copilot in this notebook directly provide me the key points. This allows me to educate myself and become more knowledgeable on what exact content I'm referencing, in case maybe I don't know all the data that exists within. Now I want to move back out of the notebook, I want to either start a new conversation or reconfigure just a little bit. In order to do this, you can click on the notebook name in the top left hand corner. That will provide you a drop down menu with your chat history, the reference documentation, and the notebook name. I'll just click on the notebook name. And now we're at the initial home screen as well. If I reference my chats area, you can see I have any of the previous chats that are a part of this particular notebook for quick and easy access. But I want to do a little bit of additional configuration. Just like agents, how we can provide a set of system instructions. I like to think of this as like the personality of the agent, the rules that it follows, so on and so forth. I can provide custom instructions to my notebook as well. Let's go ahead and do this. So you see under my notebook name, add copilot instructions. I'll click on this option and I'll paste my instructions. You are an assistant to the Contosa marketing team helping with the product launch. The product is Smart Therm, a Smart Thermostat. Always respond in a helpful marketing oriented tone. Focus on Smart Therm's benefits, especially energy savings and easy home integration when giving answers or drafts. Use an upbeat and professional style in writing. Assume the reader is a potential customer who values efficiency and sustainability. And now the AI assistant directly in this notebook will respond differently. Let's ask a few additional questions or prompts to understand how it may respond. So asking here, according to our market research, what's a key trend in the smart home device market that we can mention in our marketing? And we can see it's providing us key trends that we can be aware of for a particular th smart thermostat. Again, aligned within the content as well. You also notice key points sprinkled throughout, things like energy efficiency. We also have energy savings and convenience that the particular smart thermostat offers. This shows us that the AI assistant is following the set of system instructions that I've directly provided, because I've included that type of data in detail that I want to ensure it focuses on within its responses. Now, it's not good to just grab information and read. We also want to action the information based on the process work that we're performing. And so just like I can do in the normal general co-pilot AI assistant, I can provide a set of instructions via my prompt to the co-pilot notebook chat experience to have it generate new content for me that I could then take and leverage as a part of my business process. 
In this case, I'm requesting that the AI assistant draft a short launch announcement email for SmartTherm aimed at our customers that incorporates the top features and addresses any main customer concern. Now we have some key information. Again, all the data and detail cited directly from the references that we have as a part of the notebook. We can validate at that at the bottom as well to ensure that the response is accurate. Always read. Now navigating back out to the main interface, one of the really cool updates is the ability to get an audio overview. This is a podcast style overview of two AI voices that are directly reading any of the particular information that exists within the reference content in my notebook. This is really useful in case you're on the go, your content may be collaborated on by others around you that you're referencing, and you want to understand what's the latest and greatest, what's new, what's evolving, what's changing. Getting an audio overview can assist you with that as you're on the go. So let's go ahead and click on get an audio overview. Now this does take a little bit of time for the audio overview to be generated, up to about two minutes. And as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, I now have an about seven minute audio overview that I can listen into to understand the latest and greatest information aligned within my notebook. Let's listen in and see what it gives us. Welcome everyone to today's overview on Smart Therm and the evolving smart home landscape. Hi there, it's a pleasure to be here exploring these fascinating trends with you. Today, we're diving into the Smart Therm Market Research Report, a detailed look at the smart home devices sector. The report, authored with a keen eye on tech trends, discusses everything from who's buying these gadgets to what's driving market growth. I think it's pretty cool. It's a way to look at my work differently, and as I'm on the go or I'm wanting to listen into any work that I particularly focus on, this allows me to do so in a different form than before. So something cool and exciting to try out as you do look into your Copilot notebook functionality. So that's all I have to share for today, everyone. Thank you all so much for your time as always. If you have any questions, please feel free, post them in the comments section below. Like, share, subscribe as always, and we'll see you in the next one. Have a good one, everyone.